Student interns from Cullahale High School plan work days for fellow students and others in the community to give back to the Aina and help in the construction of a traditional Hawaiian hale that would be built on campus. These projects include helping out at Ulupoheyo and Kanvaya Nui Marsh with the removal of invasive species, as well as debarking invasive mangrove to use as material in building the traditional hale. Student and parent participants removed many invasive species at Ulupo, as well as debarking most of the logs for the hale construction. If students are able to show what they've showcase what they've learned throughout the year through their internship um, experience, as well as um, expose a few students to the um, rich history of Kailua and um, share a little bit about what they do at Ulupo um, and expose them to community work days there. Students uh, participated in debarking the logs. So after we transferred the logs from Pai Pai Ohe'eia. The youth participants were removing invasive species in and around Kawainui um, and Ulupo Heao and the three youth leaders were leading the workday at Ulupo um, and explaining to other students how to remove invasive species, which species to leave, like Kalo, um, and a little bit of history about the area that we were working in. As an adult that was a part of this project, we supervised students and facilitated any type of um, transportation or logistics um, behind the scenes types of things um, and then we also supported students in the invasive species removal but mostly supervising. Across these projects a total of 40 participants both students and parents participated for a contribution of 121 volunteer hours. When we were gathering the logs uh, weather became a huge factor because it became very rainy at the time and um, so weather was one of the things that we had to kind of stall and delay in gathering the woods from pipeline. That was what that was the challenge. So we had our your timeline kind of gets uh, pushed back. With this project, it was challenging to get um, many student participants just because it was toward the end of the school year and a lot of our seniors were busy with um, final graduation prep. And so we didn't get as many student volunteers as we had hoped, um, but I think we still got a good turnout for both the debarking days and the work days that we go and combine The most important lessons that were learned uh, within this holly building process is perseverance that, and determination. I think the most important lessons learned for students and adults in this process were the importance of giving back to the community. To other organizations planning to take on a similar project, our advice would be to plan ahead, make sure to reach out as much as you can to get people involved and to persevere through it. Even though it may seem like a really long and hard process, pushing through and getting to your goal is the most important and satisfying part.